Hello and welcome to this course on advanced Docker. My name is Mumshad Manambet and I will be your instructor for this course. In this course, we will look deeper into Docker concepts and try and gain a better understanding of Docker's architecture and different ways of running Docker containers in production. As with the previous course, this course contains lectures on various topics followed by some demos. We then go through some coding exercises where you will practice Docker commands and build your own application stack using Docker Compose and Docker Service. You will be developing Docker Compose files for various application stacks and setting up a cluster with Docker Swarm locally as well as on public cloud infrastructures such as AWS or GCP. And finally, we will work on an assignment that will give you exposure in deploying a complex application in Docker Swarm. Now remember that this is an advanced course, so some of the lectures may go a bit in depth. In case you feel there is too much information, feel free to skip that lecture and choose a lecture that you're more interested in. The same goes with coding exercises. They're there for you to practice. In case you're not in the mood, feel free to skip it and go through the remainder of the course. This is an advanced course, so it has some prerequisites. You must be familiar with the basic Docker concepts, the basic Docker commands, Docker files, basics of Docker Compose, and basics of networking in Docker. All of this is available in my previous course, Docker for the Absolute Beginner. In the first course, we covered introduction to Docker basics, what Docker is, how to run Docker containers, how Docker handles networking, how to create a Docker image, and we also looked at what Docker Compose and Docker Swarm are. But we only touched these topics at a high level. In this course, we go deeper into the concepts. We look at different options available for Docker for Windows, as it is a hot topic, and it can be a bit confusing for a beginner. We then look at advanced topics such as Docker service, what a Docker stack is, what Docker Swarm is, and what are overlay networks and how we load balance in Docker. We will look at CI CD pipeline integration with Docker and Docker support on public cloud platforms and some demos around it. I hope you're all excited about the topics, so let's head right into it.